Welcome back to One Shot. I just can't stop making terrible decisions. My god. So I I said I would replay the game up until this point just to test out the whole rue line thing if if the vision is all you need or if I messed up and included the P settings file or whatever. And I was going to do that, but for some reason, god knows why, I decided to Put that off until just before I was about to record this. I figured, oh, I'll just do a quick run through, get there, and then just start recording. It'll be perfect. Turns out I kind of underestimated how long it actually takes to play through the entire game and half of Solstice in one go. It's not that bad with the auto clicker, but it still takes a while. There's no denying that. And while I was setting up to do this, at the very last minute, I saw a comment with another thing that I should maybe try. But that thing, to try that, would take another playthrough. Not in its entirety, but I would have to replay from about the Glen in the previous playthrough, in the first playthrough, and then complete the entire game, and then get to the Glen in Solstice again. So I did. And then, while I was replaying it for probably what must be the fourth or fifth time now, I don't even know, I realized that, oh hey, I remember there was a speedrun trick I saw, where you can do what's called a kip skip, which maybe I'll show off in, in the video, it's pretty simple to do, where you skip pretty much everything in the normal new game city, because you can just go up to the library right away and get past the receptionist and talk to George and then get straight into the tower, kind of. And I remembered vaguely how I saw it performed, so I just tried it out. Little did I know that that actually can cause softlocking if you do it poorly. So I softlocked my game. And I hadn't saved the backup since I started this last run. So that was fun. Had to play it one more time. And then I decided I should try and read through some of the uh, the script. Unfortunately, I only got like halfway through it. So I don't know everything, but I did pick up on some interesting little tidbits here and there. Most of which I will not attempt to test because they seem insignificant enough. Or there's a couple that I don't even think I could test because they're really weird. So... Who likes a podcast? Let's let's talk about those, I suppose, before we get into what I wanted to do this episode. And just quickly what I found in the first half of the script. Number one, when you're in the Barrens and you get to the safe where you need a safe code, you can attempt to use the crowbar on the safe. And Nico will say something along the line. Hold on, I can actually bring up the script right now and just read it out. One second. You want me to use the crowbar to open the safe, player? I'll try. The door is sealed flush. We might need the code after all. And and there it is. Following that, there was a weird line with Proto, where when you get to Proto, he says, like, what's your name? And she says, Nico. But there was an else case with a condition, which isn't specified, it's just numbers, I don't know what it means, where he says something like, you're the person I am destined to meet, and then he waits a bit and says, dot 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 dot, Nico? And she says, yes? Because otherwise he just says, what's your name? And she says, I'm Nico. So, I don't know what that means, it's as if you can play the game multiple times, but you can't do Solstice mode multiple times. If you go past the screen and you meet Proto, then you can't complete the Barons normally anymore. Can you? I'm pretty sure you can't. So how would... How would you meet Proto a second time in the same save? I don't know, that's that's weird to me. There was also a weird thing I don't get how you could get, where after some part with Proto, it, it's kind of weird. It's like if you get to Proto without actually being in Solstice mode or something really strange, he just says, hi. Hi. And then she says dot dot dot. I mean, I don't know how these connect together, but 
She says, and that robot was saying something, that you keep bringing me back. We've been through all this before, haven't we? How many times? And then you get a player choice of one or so many. And if you say one, she says, I see. If you say so many, she says, that's a lot of times. It's strange. And following that, there's a, that robot told me to try and remember, so I will. Sleepy time. Which might be if you talk to Proto and then go to bed, but I, I might try that, but I don't remember that being a thing. Like, he doesn't tell you to remember until after you're already... He's already got his memory back and then you can't go out to the bed again. I don't know, there's a lot of weird things in the script that don't seem like you're actually able to... to get them at all. Just like the next couple of things. So in the old factory in the Barrens, if you somehow have the pipe when you go up against the boards where you like break them down to get to the sponge, I think, is in the, the basement or whatever it is, second floor, something. If you have the pipe, she says like, oh, I should smash the, the boards with a pipe. I can't do that. I need to pry them off or something like that. But there is no way you can get there because you need to get the safe key to get the gas mask and you need the battery and the generator to be running to get that, so I don't really understand that either. Unless I guess if you like brute force the safe entirely, just try every single possible combination, but I, I don't know if that's possible since it just generates as soon as you talk to the computer. It's strange, that one. And then another one where if you somehow get the wet sponge, where you like complete the acid solution and pour it onto the wet sponge, and then try to use it on the robot without the gloves, which again, isn't possible. Then she says something about like, oh, I don't want to burn off my fingers, I need to get gloves. Just again, strange things that are just ev eventualities that can't possibly happen, it seems. And then in the city, when you're trying to figure out the elevator code, if you get the whole picture thing that you have to pull off the monitor to reveal the number, if you do that without completely revealing everything on there, and then exit out and then figure it out, and then talk to the world machine again, it'll say something like, so you figure it out without fully exposing the film. Good for you or something like that. So again, that's just a tiny thing that I won't try. But finally, there was a weird section that I'm pretty sure it, it was called like City Tutorial, and it seemed like kind of a demo where Nico woke up and talked to you sort of like for the first time, not really, but like you could say that that's not my name and change your name again. And she came up to some vines and said, Oh, I can cut through these vines. It seems like they seem tough, but I can get through them with a, like clippers or something like that. And I feel like I've heard something about this where there was like some demo or something like that. I don't even know, but I'm pretty sure I can't do that. That seemed like a longer, like extensive segment. Not really, but it had like more lines than most of the stuff that I've seen that's been new in the, the script. So yeah, lots of confusion, and oh my god, this really was a podcast. I mean, I'll, I'll probably cut out some of that. For today, let's get started on some of this stuff at least. So, where am I right now? I am back here at Cedric. I have replayed the game. Uh, I believe this is the save where I've replayed the game. I've gotten the Rue Vision, but it's a completely clean slate and I haven't talked to Rue inside the alleyway. So, we'll just see what he says about this. Oh, right, I need to actually give him the music box. Oh, shit! Wait, stop! I was actually supposed to do something first. Okay, there we go. I, I just wanted to check, because this time I did not bring the battery from... from the, uh, the Barons. I just took the battery from here, and then gave it to him without talking to these two, so now if I talk to Calamus, he won't tell me where to find the battery, he'll just have the uh, second line. Yeah, let us know. Okay, and, and that's it. Alright, just wanted to confirm that, so now we can talk to Cedric again. 
Yeah, here we go. What does she look like? She's a fox. Oh, um... I don't think I know what you're talking about. No. Okay, so I was definitely just a moron. I just, for some reason, kept the P settings file or something like that. I don't even know what I did. Or maybe it was something where I had a clean slate, but I used the uh, save utility, and that caused it to think that I had talked to Rue or something like that. I don't know, but the vision is is not... It, it wasn't intended to be avoidable, I suppose. So, I thought that would have been kind of neat if you could teleport past the vision, and that was intended as the way to get this line, but no, even if you get the vision, you can still get this line. So I'm gonna quit again, and I wanna test something with the save utility. What if I use my save utility to set time spoken to Rue to, say, four? I... She's a fox. Oh. No. Still not. Huh. That's weird. So what is the, like, time spoken to Rue even about? It doesn't really seem very reliable. I guess there's a different flag for... No, I don't even know. That's strange. Because, yeah, I, I just changed it and said four. Maybe I should have set, like, the playthrough as well? Nope. Still no. With, like, four playthroughs and five times spoken to Rue. It doesn't work. The save utility doesn't change this. Alright. Fair enough. So that's that for this part. Now, the other playthrough that I uh, prepared ahead of time. Gotta raise the volume, because I always forget. So in this one, I was told to do one single thing in preparation, which you do right here. And I kind of forgot about this thing. I checked it once, but then it was never a thing again, so I didn't think about it. But apparently, there should be a little secret in that Cedric cutscene if you look at this fox plushie when, when Alula is here. Our friend gave it to me. It, he has a fox too, and she can even talk. It was the coolest thing ever. He got me a flush... Flush pucks, I think I was trying to say. Jesus Christ. Fox plush. That's nice of him. My fox is named Ruby. Not Rue. But Ruby, I didn't even pick up on that. So that's it. And then after this point, I replayed all the way to where we were again. And I will get back there in a second. And now I've only seen the plush. I've never actually seen Rue in person. Let's see if this is anything. She's a fox. Oh. Worth a shot. Aww. That's a shame. I thought this was gonna be something. Yeah, the, the person said it might have been something like the, uh... The thing where further playthroughs would change the document that you got for the safe. That didn't happen for me. I, I don't know if I'm just doing something wrong, but I, I haven't cheated. I've done that legit from a clean save slate. I don't know. It doesn't seem to be anything here, unfortunately. So now, I think we're done in the Glen, but let's do a little bit in the, uh, the city again. Right, I can also just show off the, the Kip Skip, just because it's kind of fun, and I should have been using that all along for my, uh, replays. That, that would have been nice. Before the Kip Skip, I, I saw I had a backup prepared, where I noticed a little line, just figured I'd show it off. Here, when you're going to get the the generator battery here, you can just ignore all the robots and go straight here and just check this. Looks like a generator. And he says, please do not stand too close to the generator. If you wish, if you have inquiries, please ask me instead. And that's it. So you have to talk to him and he has to say like, oh, if it's a crisis for living, living beings, then you can take it. And that's when you know that you're killing them all. Alright, so here we are. I'm not gonna change the audio levels or anything. So for Kip Skip, 
You can see I, I have nothing. I've just gotten in here in the city. And what you do is you just walk right here and you get this, this cutscene. But instead of getting that cutscene, you just tap to the right. And then as soon as you start walking across to the other tile, you want to quit the game. If I walk over and then quit, it says you cannot perform this action during cutscenes. So that was too slow. And if you're too slow, but still before the cutscene happens, that's when you get the soft lock, apparently. But if I'm really fast and I do it like that, maybe, and I save my progress, and then I open the game up again, now, also for some reason the game always starts with like one note of audio before it realizes, oh shit, I'm supposed to be muted. Oh, fuck, let me know when you're back. I'm back. Ah, it worked. Yeah, there we go. So if you get the soft lock, then you've hit the trigger for the cutscene or her saying, please stand back or something. And since you're right there to the left, like right here, do you need something? She steps back. And in that case, you're facing towards the camera, so you step back into the wall permanently, and you can never do anything. So at this point, you could just go up here and get the cutscene with George. We got number four. And then after you sleep, you give her the journal, you sleep, you talk to her again, you get the die, and then you go outside. You have to do it again, I believe, unless you can fast travel from right outside George's room. I don't think you can. I believe you have to actually kip skip a second time to get past the cutscene again. So lots of save quitting and one shot speed running, but it certainly beats playing the entirety of the city. And I wish I knew about that or thought about it before all those runs. And here we are at last, finally past the Glen. This is the very same save that I left off with last time. So none of the replay shenanigans this time. And we'll just start getting into this. I, I probably won't do too much here, but I did want to test the city lake view screen. So let's go check that out. Wait, what am I doing? Yeah, I'm going this way. Jeez, I blanked for a second. So I think I'm gonna make another save here before I go up here, because I kind of want to keep a save here for not having been here, and then having Rue, the, the talk with Rue here. So I'm just gonna do that. I'm, I'll just save here, it's fine. And then keep that for later. Oh, that's weird. Even though we were just playing in a save that didn't have the music turned down, it still turned down the music. Strange. But yeah, let's see what she says this time. Nothing there, but if we start walking around... Oh, just nothing? Ah. Man, this screen's long. Holy crap. That's a shame. No cutscene whatsoever in Solstice mode, even if you've never been there. Too bad. Let me find that in my list and mark it off, I suppose. Um, now... I actually don't think there's much else for me to do. So I guess I can actually finish this today. This playthrough. All I want to do... I mean, I guess I... Hmm. Do I need to, like, actually finish this run? I don't feel like I do. Let's, at least for now, just get to the part where we talk to George and Kip in the library. Because that definitely had some changes depending on your choice. So, I want to do that. It, that might be, wait, oh right, I can just do it right now. That might be the only thing left to do here. I am not too sure. Also, apparently you can check the uh, the glowing things here. Yeah, this looks like a countdown of some sort. All the tubes say zero. I guess it finished counting down to whatever it was counting down to. Or maybe it's just broken. 
You'd think the door would be open, yet it is not. Except it is. We just opened it. So yeah, I, I don't think I actually ever checked that. Or maybe I did, like in the first playthrough. I can't remember. And we got the four personality. Here we go. And I can skip past this. I know I can. Until shit goes down. And then they start talking. And now. Now I might want to actually read. And just check. It's okay. Yeah, here we go. A long time ago. Fuck, do you remember? The very first time? I actually wasn't sure. I still wanted the people to be happy, so when you told me to return home back then, I wasn't sure. And I trusted you more, but I trusted you more. Fuck. But then I just came back. You what? And then I found out about the world being like this and all of that stuff. And that's kind of all it is. I really want to save this world, fuck. Fuck, I'm not afraid anymore, Jesus Christ. It's getting a bit old, isn't it? And yeah, that's, that's it. So, now I can skip past it. And that might be everything that I know, at least. I mean, maybe I want to just finish the playthrough, because, I mean, it's not really much left. Eh. I don't know. I guess I'll see. Maybe I'll just, like, play through it on my own and see if there's anything noteworthy, and if not, then I'll just skip it. But that means I'll have to do something in between episodes, which, good luck with that! But yeah, this is kind of like stopped being a Let's Play long ago, and it's, it's just kind of the one-shot science show. And even then, it's kind of shitty. <laughs> so, I don't know. So past this point, I did just have a couple last things I wanted to try and do, which is the whole remote thing, which I'll do. And then there was the New Game Plus stuff, where you do a proper New Game Plus with Nico alive, and there's, I know at least one thing that you can do that we could use the save utility to check, but then mainly just the very end of a run, I want to see if the world machine says something because we've done what it wanted. It wanted to save Nico and it didn't work. And it, since it knows that it's happening again, I don't know. I don't think it's going to be any different, but maybe. I'm just going to leave it there for today though, and hopefully I'll have time to read through the rest of the script, see if there's anything interesting to test out. And maybe I'll just continue from here on my own and just confirm if there's anything at all of note. And then that's gonna be it. So thanks for watching, or listening rather, to this ranting thing. Editor me is probably exhausted right now, because holy fuck, editing all this down. Well, good luck to me tomorrow! Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye